Here we have a cloud chamber in active operation. If you look carefully, you can see the small trails of uh, beta particles and the much thicker, wider trails of alpha particles. If you look towards the top, you can see that there is the uh, end of a sharpened copper wire, which I've connected to a Van de Graaff generator on the outside. Uh, the negative the negative electrode is connected to the pointed copper wire. The uh, ground of the Van de Graaff generator is connected to the metal plate that forms the base of the, of the cloud chamber. When I turn the Van de Graaff generator on, a stream of electrons will explode, literally, from the tip of the uh, electrode inside the uh, cloud chamber and create a cloud in the uh, cloud chamber. Here's what it looks like. It's quite dramatic. Usually what a cloud chamber shows are individual tracks of individual particles. In this case, it's getting hit with millions of electrons all at once. Let's hit it again. We'll short it out, let things calm down. And we'll hit it again. What I'm doing is leaving the Van de Graaff generator on and uh, periodically removing the shorting electrode from the top. And I'll remove it now. That's a burst of electrons striking the active layer of the cloud chamber and creating a cloud. Here's what happens if we leave it on and turn it on high. The stream of electrons from the tip of the sharp electrode is blasting away at the active layer of the cloud chamber. That's not a stream of gas entering the cloud chamber, it's actually the electrons coming off the tip of the electrode. And here's what it looks like looking straight down into the cloud chamber. Here it is at higher power.
So that's a very interesting display. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.